Thank you for joining the National Weather Service in Missoula for our planning briefing. Today is Sunday, September 17th. Let's look at the key points for weather through next weekend, starting with through Thursday when humidity, day and nighttime humidity will slowly be increasing across the region. Also, south, gusty southwest winds will continue. Wednesday through Friday, we're looking at a pretty large storm system dropping into the northern Rockies, shifting wind to the northeast. There'll be some gusts to 40 miles per hour along the Continental Divide and over nearby mountain ranges on Wednesday evening. And then a wet, cold weather system will move overhead, producing one to three inches of snow accumulation above 6,000 feet. And then finally, there'll be a valley freeze risk, particularly Thursday morning and again Friday morning. For the upcoming weekend, temperatures will rebound your seasonal averages. Here's our weather risk outlook. One thing we didn't mention on the previous slide was northwest Montana has a slight chance of thunderstorms Monday late afternoon through evening, as well as southwest Montana. And we'll see those winds continue through Monday, not nearly as a big impact for uh, fire weather on Tuesday, and then we see Thursday with the uh, snow at the mountain passes being um, a, a bit of an impact, but more of a wetting snow slash wetting rain. Here's a satellite from the North Pacific. You can see in the Gulf of Alaska this system swirling here. This is the one that will be responsible for our wind uh, today on Sunday all the way through portions of the area on Tuesday. And uh, behind it is actually our weather maker for Wednesday through Friday. This is the guy over here by the Aleutian Islands that's going to drop in and produce some snow over the high country. So first, looking at uh, Monday afternoon, the probability of wind gusts of 25 miles per hour or greater. You can see much of western Montana and some of uh, north central Idaho, southwest Montana, seeing fairly high probability that winds will reach or exceed 25 miles per hour. And looking at our relative humidity trend for Sunday afternoon through Tuesday afternoon, you can see most locations are in the 5 to 10 percent increases during this time. Uh, some of the higher elevations up near Glacier Park are closer to 15 percent. Wednesday night, here's where our wind shift to the northeast with that storm system moving in. And we see pretty high probability of gusts reaching or exceeding 25 miles per hour along the Continental Divide, including down here in the Butte Blackfoot region, uh, including Deer Lodge and Butte Anaconda. You can also see a little bit of higher probabilities over mountain ranges like the Sapphires um, up here in the Rattlesnake uh, Wilderness um, on the, on the uh, near the Swan Range and the Mission Mountains, including Flathead Lake, and then up here north of the Whitefish Range and uh, um, points along the uh, Glacier Park uh, Continental Divide. Also Wednesday night, this is our best chance to get some wetting rain slash wetting snow. Where you see the blues and the greens are the best chance of getting some high elevation, 6,000 feet and above uh, snow accumulation. The impact of this will be mostly on backcountry users, but uh, otherwise won't have a significant impact and will be melting fairly quickly once the sun comes out on Thursday. And then here looking at our Thursday and Friday morning freeze risk, we're taking Kalispell for an example. Uh, you can see here Thursday morning, 65% chance of reaching uh, 32 degrees or colder, and then similar uh, probabilities for Friday morning. You can also see that Wednesday morning has a fairly high probability just over 50% of reaching freezing or, or lower. Uh, the thing about Wednesday morning, though, is that the, uh, uh, the winds and cloud cover will probably be uh, a bit more of an impedance on reaching cold temperatures for Kalispell. And then here is the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook, uh, near normal for most of the northern Rockies, save north central Idaho, uh, and also looking at uh, above normal precipitation uh, for, for the last uh, week or so of September. And this uh, coincides with what we've seen with a more active Pacific jet stream poking into the Pacific Northwest um, by the time we get to uh, next weekend. That's our briefing for today. We hope you'll join us for the next one on Thursday, September 21st. Please contact us if you have any questions, and we hope you have a nice day.